Ole Miss 5-0 ranked in the top 10, trying to pick up a road win and stay perfect this year. Wade fields it at his own goal line, tried to find a seam and got tripped up inside his own 20. Actually made a start back in week two, but Dart, the highly touted recruit out of Southern California, now starting in the SEC. On second down, back on the ground with Evans around the left side, testing that edge. He's got a first down, walks out of bounds near midfield. Out to the right instead, a procedure. Evans finds a seam up the middle, plants his foot, picks up a first down Ole Miss, and this is what we've seen Stinch all year. They want him to be a playmaker. We get our first look at Quinshawn Judkins, the freshman running back. They fake it to him and throw a dart over the middle. That is caught by Jordan Watkins. The Louisville transfer takes it inside the red zone on this opening drive. Look, not a lot of negative yardage plays for this Ole Miss offense. Third down and 11. Dart with time. Throws left side. It's high for Mingo who caught it, but he's out of bounds. Incomplete. And Vanderbilt forces fourth down on the opening possession. The transfer from Charlotte, who was two for two last week in the win over Kentucky. And that's a low liner. That is true. Small town outside of Atlanta. They start on the ground with Ray Davis, their top rusher, and in the top five in the SEC. He puts the shoulder down right on top of the V at midfield, near first down yardage as A.J. Finley was in there on the tackle. They had already predetermined four down territory with that play call. Fourth down and two. They get the snap off. They throw to the right side. And Shepard, who fights his way free and makes the catch. Will Shepard looking like a man amongst boys. First down, Vandy. So far for the Vandy offense was second and manageable. This is dangerous. McGowan is the motion man. And the true freshman has tons of speed and wiggle. And he's twisted down inside the 10. Vandy has scored a touchdown on 15 of 17 red zone trips this year. Swan throw is broken up. Tennyson in there again. There, Ben Bresnahan trying to push Tennyson back into the end zone. 23 yard attempt from Bulibus is good. He's been one for one and now four consecutive games and a little extra chirping here at homecoming. Fourth down, Ole Miss is going for it. Dart keeps it, throws on the rollout incomplete. He was trying to find the tight end. Casey Kelly went off his mitts, and it's Vanderbilt football. A foot injury, somehow not with a finger injury after it was going the wrong direction in that game last week. A.J. Swan, the quarterback for Vanderbilt, on third down and fourth, throws on the run and completes to Will Shepard. Second and five, Swan throws, sets up the screen to McGowan, and look out for the true freshman. He's got speed down the sideline, cuts back near the goal line, and scores. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. Jaden McGowan showing the talent. Jackson Dart to throw on the first play of a new drive, loads it up, thought about it, keeps it, evades the rush. Here goes Jackson Dart. That's intercepted. It's to Ricky Wright. Had it put on a silver platter. Ole Miss trailing for just the second time this season. They were down 14-7 against Tulsa in the first half. As Swan completes again, finds the tight end, Ben Bresnahan, who brings it inside the 20. Third down and long for Swan. The pressure was on. The throw is deflected and incomplete in the end zone. Joseph Bulibus was good from 23 earlier. This one from 34 is drawing between the uprights and good. Third down and six. Dark pumps, throws, completes. Watkins, the seize part for the Louisville transfer. There goes 11. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Davis in motion. Wright finds him. Could be a trick play on the backward pass. Back to right, and that's incomplete. And there's a flag, and Ray Davis was in pain on the turf for a second. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number one. The play clock's at three. Swan to throw. Over the middle, complete. Near the sticks, that's Carter. Got Will Shepard up there on his own. Let's see if Lee made the right call. Wright gives it to Davis, who walks in for a Vanderbilt touchdown. That was easy. A minute plus to play, the clock stopping with the change of the chains. 
Starts a throw. Up the seam. Mingo is there. Brings it in inside the five. Let's see what they do here. Jackson Dart is under center. Don't see this very often. Judkins gets the call right up the gut and scores. The true freshman is in the end zone again right before the first half ends. This Vanderbilt defense has stood tall today. Dart with time. And he throws right sideline complete to Jordan Watkins again. Here's the tempo as Dart throws again. That's Mingo around the left side. Tough to bring down. Takes a couple of doors. Throw. Another quick pass to Mingo. Puts his foot in the ground. Makes one man miss and picks up another. Ole Miss first down. Sideline. You see he's going to be substituted out as is Michael Arusu. They were not off the field in time. Evans with a head of steam around the left side. Off of the um, interview with Mike Leach, as many SEC fans have seen, we did SEC teams as wedding guests, so that's the kind of content you get. I cannot wait. We got a little taste of that last night. Sounds great. As Evans around the left side, sheds one tackle, makes another miss, and scores. Hello, Zach Evans. Rebels in front. They've had to burn one timeout already in this third quarter as Swan takes the snap. And he swings it out to Davis. That might be a backward pass. Tennyson has it for Ole Miss at the five-yard line. Let's check the ruling. I think that's going to be Ole Miss ball on a fumble, and it is. Yeah. Mingo the motion man. Judkins the running back who gets the call, and the freshman goes right into the house. Touchdown Ole Miss. To bounce back. They give him a couple of easy throws horizontally. Now a shot downfield. He lets it rip and Mingo's behind the defense. Goodbye, Jonathan Mingo. Touchdown, Rebels. 71 yards. Through the entirety of the game. Dart will throw again. Floats it up, and where was that going? Dericky Wright says, look what I found. The second time Vanderbilt has intercepted Dart today. Shepard up there in the bunch. They need it again. Swan throws. Smith catches, and he is stuffed. Troy Brown's in there first. Turnover on downs, and that might ice it for the Rebels. Ole Miss got after him. The Land Sharks smelled some blood in the water last week. They're still unbeaten, and they're trying to put the finishing touches on a win here over Vandy. As Jonathan Mingo breaks free, and he might be gone. Mingo has scored one long touchdown today. Make it two. Put this thing on ice. 72-yard touchdown, Rebels. New running back for Vandy is Rocco Griffin. Junior out of Georgia. Davis gets a well-deserved breather. Swan keeps it on the play fake. And he throws to a wide open Jaden McGowan down the right sideline inside the 30 of Ole Miss. Miles Battle ushered him out of bounds. Right. First down and 10. Still Griffin in the backfield with Swan. They fake it to him and complete. Gamarion Carter dragging Rebels inside the 10. Coming up on four minutes in the fourth. Swan again with the play fake. Throws the fade. Shepard is there. Says give me that. Down, Vandy. He went up and over Miles Battle for his eighth touchdown of the season. You see him down here signaling he's out of the backfield. Davis in motion, fake the jet sweep to him. Swan on the rollout, floats it. Bresnahan, the tight end, that's caught. Two point conversion, good. Porter, Bulovis to set up the onside kick. J.J. Pegues falls on it. Fourth than the Rebels had. Quinshawn Judkins gets the call, finds a sliver of space, and this is danger for any opponent. Inside the 15, he finished the run against Jeremy Lucian. Hurrying up to get a playoff. Oh, man, they want to run it up. Jones in for the touchdown. It's a 50-burger for the Rebs. They provided the spark. Rocco Griffin on the carry. The clock is stopped and now it runs. Yeah. And you can see even the Ole Miss defenders are going, hey, what's going on? Let's check out this handshake between Lane Kiffin and Clark Lee after that late touchdown. Ole Miss trailed at halftime. They scored 35 straight. They end up winning this game big. 52 to 28, the final on homecoming here in Nashville.